There is a new sheriff in town for the Ministry of Interior. And putting action to words, the new minister begins a tour of the agencies under his purview, beginning with the Nigerian Immigration Service. A quick inspection of the guard, he proceeds to engage with the top officials of the service, promising to reward hard work and cooperation while addressing pertinent issues like delays in getting Nigerian passports. Nobody should come and use agreement or whatever as a booby trap. If you are ready to sit up, good. If you are not sitting up, then you get out. It's as simple as that. It is unacceptable. And I'm unapologetic about this. I'm very passionate about it. It is unacceptable for Nigerians to wait for months to get passport. For anybody that is interested in passport and can afford it, it's a right, not a privilege, to Nigerians. It is a right, not a privilege. Next, he makes his way to the headquarters of the Nigerian Correctional Service, where there's another inspection of the guard and a meeting with senior officers. He sounds a note of warning to saboteurs of the service. We'll give you all the support, but we will not tolerate sabotage. We will not tolerate sabotage. We're ready to work with you, but if you work in the interest of the nation, we are also ready to show the exit to anybody that sabotages national security. The tour ends with a visit to the Kujie Correctional Service, and as expected, phones and cameras are prohibited. Nevertheless, after an hour of touring around the center, the minister shares his desire for reform of the facility, changing them from punishment centers to actual correctional facilities. We will do a thorough audit of all our correctional centers and make sure that our inmates get the type of treatment they deserve. And um, our correctional centers will not be condemn condemnation centers. They will be correctional centers indeed. A lot of structural changes have been made to the Kujim Correctional Facility since the 5th of July last year when the jailbreak that happened right here caused fear in the hearts of the residents of the nation's capital and the country at large. The Minister of Interior is promising that the circumstances that led to that particular jailbreak will be addressed in the shortest possible time. And he's asking all the agencies under his purview to join hands with him to achieve the mandate he's been given by President Bola Tinubu. From the Kujie Correctional Facility in Kujie Abuja, Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.